Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate on how to create gratings most suitable for staircase treads. Please welcome to this presentation. I'm Maurice Dimba. Having created the grid like this, we'll go straight away to steel. Just snap there, just direct your cursor in that direction and type the appropriate dimensions of your choice. I'll type 1180. I'll add that. 1180. I mean 1183.8. I'll go ahead and click OK. I'll right click and disable that. To check the size of this profile, just double click on this, come to select under beam properties click select then these properties of uh, steel profiles will come up and will you'll be able to see the the type of profile of steel you've selected has been highlighted here and uh, plate profiles this is the one we are using at the moment i'll minimize that and just click ok click ok apply and accept now from here i want to just create an offset or create a width of that straight i'll come to beam i'll come to this end i'll click here i'll click on that side and just place my cursor here and type 250 i'll go ahead and click ok i'll click on that member and click move from this spot to this spot to that spot go ahead and move it snap there and snap right there perfect now from here I'll double click on that again come to position and check the measurements if they're okay just click on that you'll be able to see that is 250 that's perfect I'll come here and click on that side right click and click copy and bring it on this end cut it from that spot and join it with that spot right click and and interrupt to disable that copy command click on this right click and click copy and do the same thing pick it from that corner and zoom out and take it on the other end snap right there right click and and interrupt to disable that copy command now from here I want to click on this right click and click copy and snap right here place my cursor there and type 55 I'll enter that right click and interrupt now from here what I want to do I'll come here and click beam I'll snap right down there and snap right at the corner there I'll double click on this and, and uh, to just to check the size of the, the steel member I've, cre I've created I'll just go ahead and, and cancel that once I've confirmed the size I'll right click there right click and click move from that corner to this end I want to adjust the length of this steel. I need 15 millimeter. I'll apply and accept. I'll click on that member, snap right there and bring it right at the corner there. Perfect. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'll just click on the same steel member or plate and right click and click copy. From this corner, click on it and run all the way to this end and place it there right click and it up to disable that copy command now from here I want to use this command of plate I'll come to steel and come to plate under this down arrow I'll click on it and create a bend between this and this now I'll come to create band plate using faces. I'll click on that. I'll click on this face first and click on this next. 
I'll create that shape. Now I'll do away with this because this was just there to give a guidance on placement of this of this curvature or uh, this profile. Now from here just click on that, right click and click copy. Pick it from this corner, not accurate, right click and click copy. From here, right there, join it with this end. Just continue doing the same thing, snap right there, go ahead and snap right there. Go ahead and do the same thing at that end. Perfect. Now from here, I'll just highlight everything by pressing Control button on my keyboard and highlight everything there. I'll right click and come to Special Copy and click Mirror. I want to mirror this using these two points as my mirror line. I'll click on that and just click Copy. Click OK. Now from here, I want to populate this inside this frame of steel. This is a thread for a uh, for staircase. Now I'll go ahead and highlight everything here. I'll highlight this. Press Control and highlight that. That and this. Let's go ahead and highlight everything. Highlight that. Right click and come to special copy and click linear. And prior to invoking this linear copy command, check the direction of your x, y axis. Now, if you check down here, we have x on that direction and y on that direction. Now we'll come to this copy linear properties command uh, dialog box and feed the dimensions here. And prior to feeding the dimensions, you have to check the distance you intend to, to feed inside this. Now you will cancel this for the time being and click on an empty screen to, dis, uh, to deselect our selection. Then come to edit, come to measure, pick distance. You want to check the measurement from here to here. That is 73.3. We'll go back and, yes, and highlight everything. We'll highlight that. Press Control and highlight everything here. Highlight that and this, this and that. Then go ahead and right click and go to Special Copy and Linear. Insert Linear Copy command. Now on X axis, we'll type 73.3. .3. We need 14 of this and go ahead and click copy. Accept that by right clicking. Interrupt to get away from that copy command. We can add some more. Just undo. I like that. Press control. Select all this. Select that. Right click, come to special copy linear, add one to 15 of this. Now go ahead and click copy, accept. Perfect. Now if you come to view and turn this round, you'll be able to see that you've created a steel grating This is still grating. You can make it as a one. You can you can make it at uh, you can make it this as a single assembly by highlighting everything here. Come here and and uh, activate this select assembly button. Click on that. Then come here. Come here and, and right click. Come to task, not the appropriate way, just highlight everything. After selecting this, then right click here, come to assembly and make this into 
assembly. Click that. This will be now one assembly. If you hover your cursor on top of this, you'll see it's being it's being highlighted everything. Now from here we'll just uh, click on it. Come to navigate, turn this round like this. We want to take it onto staircase clit. Now we'll come to edit, we'll come to points online. We'll snap on top here, right there. Most appropriate spot. Come here, click on line, zoom out, just click on top there, run all the way to this end and snap here. We want to transfer that center point to the bottom end. We'll click on that, right click and click copy. Copy it from that spot to this spot. Now we'll come down here. Before going down there, come here and turn this round for you to be able to access this point down here. Now I'll click on this. I'll right click and click copy or move. I'll pick that. I want to move it from that. And I've noticed something that we've placed a point here and we've not placed a point where we are going to place this thread onto. Now we'll hold this for the time being and come to this clit down here. We'll come to edit point online. We want to locate a midpoint between that end and this end. Apply and accept. Now if you come down here under view, we want to rotate this thread, highlight everything, just click on it, right click and click move from down here on that, on that spot, come to navigate, turn this round, rotate about that spot. Turn it round once again, then right click and snap right on top of this. It hasn't, it hasn't snapped properly. Double click on this. Now we'll undo this slightly. Turn this round, click on that spot, right click and delete that. Now come back to edit, come to points, online, we want to snap on that spot and on this spot. Right click to interrupt. Now from here we'll go back and do the same thing. We'll come to view, navigate, rotate this like that, click on this, right click, click move, from this spot down here, come to navigate, turn this round and zoom out to access this spot, turn this round properly, I'll check whether that point is in the right position, is, not, is actually out, way out, we'll delete that, we'll come to edit again, we'll snap here, come to view, turn this round, Right click, click OK, we'll come back to edit, we want to place this point accurately, we'll snap right there, and snap right here, now the point is, is on the right position, 
take a look at that confirm that now it is okay you can place that thread on top there now come back here right click click on this come to navigate turn this round right click click copy or move zoom closer to access this spot click on that now come to navigate rotate with mouse rotate about that spot turn this round and go back to that point you created or we created previously now we want to place this on top here on top here now it's it is accurately placed come to navigate rotate with mouse with mouse with mouse to check whether you've placed it on the right position now this is what i wanted to demonstrate now this is this is it this is a, a thread which the greeting has been used as a as a thread turn this round like this to have a clear view now for today this is enough and uh, if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's meet on the next on the next uh, presentation i'm uh, your presenter Maurice Nimba Thank you and bye-bye.